Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel where you can find videos that will make math more fun and easy for you to become winner in numbers, winner in life. In this video, I'm going to present to you how to add mixed numbers. So let us begin by defining what is a mixed number. So to help us out, let us take a look at these illustrations. Based on the illustrations, we can see that we have three circles and each of the circles is divided into four equal parts. And then some parts are shaded with red. So let us count the total number of parts that are shaded in red. Let us start with the first circle. Looking at the first circle, we can see that all the four parts are shaded with red. So in other words, one whole of the circle is shaded with red. The same thing also with the second circle. All the four parts are shaded with red. So in other words, one whole of the second circle is also shaded in red. So all in all, we have now two whole are shaded with red. But looking at the third circle, only one part is shaded with red. And the fraction that represents the part that is shaded with red is one fourth. So we have already here two plus one fourth to give us two and one fourth. So in other words, two and one fourth of the circles are shaded with red. So 2 and 1 fourth is an example of a mixed number. So a mixed number comprises of a whole number in which in this case we have 2 as our whole number. And we have also the fractional part which in this case we have 1 fourth. In other words, a mixed number simply shows to us the result of adding a whole number and a fraction. This becomes easy when we are adding a whole number and a fraction. Let's say in our example, we added 2 and 1 fourth. So the result is a mixed number 2 and 1 fourth. Now what if, if we are adding two mixed numbers? So let us start by adding two mixed numbers in which the fractional parts of these two mixed numbers are similar. So in that sense that the denominators of the two fractions are the same. We will be using rectangular tiles to help us visualize how to add mixed numbers. So first we are going to identify the two mixed numbers that we are going to add. So we have here one, two, three, four, five. So in other words, each hole is divided into five equal parts. Since all the parts are tiled with red, so in other words, this is one whole. Another one whole. So one plus one is two. But this one, only two parts are tiled. So one, two, two out of five or two fifths. So two plus two fifths is equivalent to two and two fifths plus one, two, three, four, five. So all the five are also tiled with green. So one whole. But here we have only one part is tiled. So one plus one fifth is equivalent to one and one fifth. Let us put together these red tiles and the green tiles and let us find out how many parts can these tiles be covered. So we'll put this down. So we are done with the red tiles. This time, we will continue with the green tiles.
we have only covered one, two, three, and three fifths. So in other words, when we add two and two fifths plus one and one fifth, it will give us three and three fifths. So what do the illustrations tell us? The illustrations tell us that when we are adding mixed numbers with similar fractional parts, first, we have to add the whole numbers of the addends. So in this case, we will add 2 plus 1 to give us a sum of 3. So the sum will be the whole number of our answer. And then we can add now the fractional parts of the addends. We have two fifths and one fifth. Following the rules in adding similar fractions, in which when we are adding similar fractions, we just simply add the numerator. So in this case, two plus one will give us three. So, and then copy the common denominators, which is five. So the answer is three fifths. So when we are adding two and two fifths plus one and one fifth will give us three and three fifths. This time we shall have another example. Let us take a look at this two mixed numbers being represented by the yellow tiles and the blue tiles. So the yellow tiles represent the mixed number one and three fourths plus the blue tiles represent the mixed number two and three fourths. So in other words, we are going to add one and three fourths plus two and three fourths. So let us join together or put together the yellow tiles and the blue tiles. All in all, we have one, two, three, four, four and two fourths. So when we add one and three fourths and two and three fourths, it will give us four and two fourths. But let us take a look at the fractional part of our sum, which is two fourths. This one. The two fourths is just equivalent to one half. So in other words, four and two fourths is just the same as four and one half. Therefore, our final answer is four and one half. This time we shall have addition of mixed numbers in which the fractional parts are not similar. Let us take a look at these illustrations. And one plus one half we have one and one half plus two and one third. So in other words, we are going to add the mixed numbers one and one half and two and one third. So let us try to combine together the violet tiles and the orange tiles. But this time we have to make sure that no part or parts of the tiles outside of the given figure. So let's start with the violet. Okay, one full of the figure is covered. Okay, so we are done with the violet. This time we will continue with the orange. One, two. The moment we will continue with the orange after the first tile, we notice that there is an excess. Actually, it's half of the orange tile is outside of the illustration or figure. So we cannot join them together. So let us try to use the same size of the figure, this figure, but divide it equally into three. So we'll put together the violet. 
then orange if you notice know, still one half of the orange tile is outside of the figure so in other words we cannot divide the illustration into three equal parts we have to analyze how many equal parts are we going to divide the figure so that the moment we'll put the tile together there will be no part or part or parts of the tiles outside of the figure so let us try to put them side by side so we have there so in other words we have two violet tiles equivalent to three orange tiles looking at the partition here we can say that we can cut this tile into two equal parts. When we cut this into two equal parts, this one is also into two equal parts. This one is, is also two into two equal parts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So in other words, we need to cut the figure into six equal parts. For the violet, if we will cut this into six equal parts, we need to cut this into Three equal parts one two three three equal parts for a total of six equal parts so our new illustrations would be like this so we can see here one whole of the figure one whole of the figure the value remains the same but the appearance is not because this one here is divided into two equal parts but here it is divided into six equal parts so what is now our new mixed number from one and one half? It is now renamed as one and three six. For the orange tiles from two and one third, two and two six. So when we are adding one and one half and two and one third, we can rename the mixed numbers into 1 and 3, 6 and 2 and 2, 6 respectively. So we can now add our mixed numbers. So we'll try to combine them together. Okay, there you can see there's no excess. Let's continue. Okay, there. So we are done putting together the violet and the orange tiles. So all in all, we have one, two, three. So we have three. And then one, two, three, four, five. So we have five over six. So in other words, when we add one and one half plus two and one third will give us three and five six since the fractional part is already in the lowest term so this is our final answer without this model we can also find the sum of one and one half and two and one third using computations following the rules in adding mixed numbers with the similar fractional parts so let us have this one so the same given one and one half plus two and one third so when we add mixed numbers having the similar fractional parts we have to start adding with the whole numbers so in this case, we are going to add 1 and 2. So we are going to add 1 plus 2 to give us 3. Then next, we are going to add the fractional parts, which are 1 half 
plus one third. Remember, one half and one third are dissimilar fractions. So before we can add them, we have to make them similar by finding the LCM of their denominators and use that, and use that LCM as their common uh, denominator. So the, the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So in other words, we have to rename this one half into its equivalent fraction in which the denominator is 6. The same way also, we have to rename this one third into its equivalent fraction in which the denominator is 6. Remember that 6 is the LCM of the 2 and 3 or, their denomin or, or the denominators of 1 half and 1 third. So how are we going to identify the numerators of these two fractions? First, we have to identify the numerator of the fraction equivalent to 1 half. So take note that for this two, that for this denominator 2 to become 6, we have to multiply it by 3. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So we have also to multiply our numerator 1 here by 3. So 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Next, we have to identify also a number to, to multiply 2, 3 to become 6. We have to multiply it by 2. So the same manner, we have to multiply also our numerator 1 by 2. So 1 times 2 will give us 2. So we have now 3, 6, which is equivalent to 1 half, plus 2, 6, which is equivalent to 1 third, will give us 5, 6. So our whole number is 3 plus our fraction 5, 6 will give us plus 5, 6 will give us 3 and 5, 6. So it is now your turn to answer the following exercises. All you have to do is to find the sum of the following mixed numbers. Number one, three and two nines plus two and four nines. Number two, four and one six plus one and three fourths. So you can comment your answer on my social media accounts given below. And take note that the first one to comment with the correct answer will get a shout out on my next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. But again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be notified every time I have a new video. Thank you.